All right, let's see. We got, I think, two videos to watch here. Oh, man, doesn't I forgot to show the chat on the screen anymore. <sighs> Gonna have to deal without it. Let's see what we got. Uh, hungover. Let's go to Walmart. Starbucks taste test and weight loss update. That's a that's a lot to unpack right there. Hungover. Let's go. Why why does she have to mention the drinking all the time? For attention? For attention? <laughs> no, don't. <laughs> no, stop it. No. Uh, let's go to Walmart. Thank God. About time, right? What's the thing from Duncan? Like spiced cookie or something is one of the special drinks. I got it. Oat milk. It's just a it's a coffee though. I think I would have liked it as a latte. Pretty good, pretty good. Um brown sugar flavoring with like some sugar free vanilla or whatever. I think it is. And the next one after that is eating Taco Bell in bed at 2 a.m. <sighs> you think you're unique for that? Uh, cooked my mom, my famous chili. Um, okay. And making personal charcuterie board. <laughs> a, a, a single serving <laughs> charcuterie board? Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. The hungover Walmart Starbucks. Let's. Hey, guys. It is a Let's do that. Hey guys, the, it the is the middle next day. part. <laughs> hey guys, it is the next okay. day. <laughs> I'm not feeling the greatest. I have a little bit of a hangover. What's the giggle for? Sluggish, nauseous, just not good. So I'm actually about to go out with my mom, but I do want to weigh myself real quick. I weighed Me myself too. on Monday. I was like five fifteen, five sixteen. <sighs> Today's actually Saturday and I have been actively eating less and trying to make actively. better choices. I've been trying to move Sounds a little bit more. Sounds passive so to I me. I do feel that I am on a good track. I do feel like I had to have lost at least a couple pounds. So I'm about to strip all my clothing off and let's weigh myself. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hello. It's ready. It's ready. Yes it is. 500 and 9.0 pounds. 500 and who? Oh, I had to look down. 509. Oh my god. Let's go! Let's go! 508.4. Hey, hey you're time. already losing. <laughs> hey now. So, I guess I'll take that. So I'm down like seven pounds in almost a week. That's exciting. Oh, what a cut. What a scene change. Got some fried rice, that's, shrimp, and some broccoli. Who said she's not a videographer? So I'm finished eating. My fortune says beautiful transition between scenes here. Week. <laughs> so we're currently this is art. My mom wanted to look at some clothing. And look at this. It has little bears on it. I thought it was cute. Definitely not my aesthetic, but it's cute. I don't think I've ever seen mannequins at a Walmart well, you know, Your aesthetic is Walmart. This might be what the do first you mean? Time ever. Okay. So random fact about my mom. She's obsessed with the pioneer woman. Come on. Kitchen stuff. Well, actually anything, really. Why? Anything Pioneer Woman. Why? What, okay, is, so what about it? What the fuck about it? I got Starbucks, and um, I got a iced coffee with caramel, and I'm afraid I'm not going to like it. My mom got this, like, pepper. How, what's there to not fucking like? Got a fucking Starbucks iced coffee with a bunch of caramel syrup in it. What if it's bad? Peppermint <laughs> moment. Well, there's no peppermint on there. She said, do you not go to Starbucks often? She, she told the guy, where's the peppermint? <laughs> it's literally in it. Oh, my God. So we're going to do a taste test, or I am at least. The fuck? It's not a fucking... <laughs> Stop that thing from making a noise. That was good, Jackie. Tacky. Oh, 
Ooh. Wait, it's actually good. I was scared. My mom. In what fucking world was the fucking caramel dessert beverage gonna be bad? I was thinking I wasn't gonna like it. It has caramel, and I was like, extra caramel, please, and thank you. Yeah, I needed some coffee to. You got extra caramel? How was it gonna be bad? Pet my step a little bit. Are you gonna do a taste test for us? <laughs> Wish you guys could see her face. So weird. <laughs> She's opening the straw. She's taking the wrapper off the straw. Oh Lord. <laughs> I bet there'd be from it. She's trying it. You ever heard of peppermint extract, lady? God. <laughs> Do you know What do you want? Mint leaves in there? Like, like it? It's icky. <laughs> she said it's icky. What? What about it? It's kinda icky. You wanna try mine? Why? Try that one. God. Name one problem. It's kind of icky, Amber. It's a little dirty. <laughs> Name <laughs> one issue. <laughs> Ew, yours just tastes like a bath of sugar. That's all it tastes like. It tastes like a bath of sugar. You can't even tell it's coffee or anything. Yeah, it's just like that's a good. Thing of sugar water. <laughs> sugar water? Oh little... my god, get her a fucking mug of black coffee from the diner. Oh, I like it. Sorry. Sorry you ordered a fucking $8 dessert beverage and it's wow. too sweet. Snowing. Oh my god, it's crazy. In November. Oh man, I wish it was snowing here. Wow. <laughs> In goddamn motherfucking Oklahoma? My mom just dropped me off. That happens there? And I'm there? just letting it snow on me. Yeah. So I totally forgot, but I got these super cute tumblers from Walmart, but I left them in my mom's car. So next time I see her, I'm gonna need to show you guys new because tumbler. they're so adorable. Does that mean we're starting a new diet here? Cause you bought some reusable water bottles? Morning, it is the next day. Rarity usually sleeps right next to me. Face against said, the wall. I'm sleep in this corner. Face pressed against the wall. Rarities. Think about what you've like done. in the wall, like what is she doing? <laughs> Hello, next day, oh. my hair. We have questions, I know we do. This is called, I don't care, so I'm wearing my hair up there. Well, if she didn't care enough to do her hair, that must mean that the makeup's from yesterday, right? I've just been wearing my hair- One could hair assume, right? Down a lot lately, and I'm kind of over it. People always ask about this choker. It's not a this choker. Choker? I have Shirt needs to be burned for crimes against clothing. What's the matter with what's the matter with the top? What's the matter? How I have any business having like literally ten of the same choker? Well, but I mean, do. It looks naked down there. Is, is that a problem? Or if it's helping me, but it makes sense in my brain. I've been listening to songs that me and my ex would listen to while like slow dancing or whatever it may be. Songs that were like okay. special to us. I'm listening to those songs so I can like get immune to them like a month ago the one that you knew for three weeks over the phone I or be able to listen to these or the other and one i'm listening to them and i'm being okay because this is music that i enjoy i don't want to like lose these songs what because is i it? enjoy them as what a is whole it? so it's like i have to like become like immune what is it sarah to, like, smile by hall and oats the feelings the what emotions that come up with the songs so i'm like forcing myself to listen to them some marvin gay like, now and i'm actually doing a lot better so change the subject um someone very Ghost special town, to me Adam we decided that we were going to do matching keychains <laughs> sucking on chili dog outside the taste of freeze that's what they're listening to such a cute idea and you guys know me i Man, love I'm really, I'm gonna have to, i'm gonna really have so to read much. out all so we got a matching chat Lego chain, you can't see it on the screen and i let her decide what the actual like keychain is. Oh wow, this is adorable. So I'm not really a hot dog girly, but I'm willing give, to have this hot dog. Give, on. give it to Destiny. Give it give the hot dog to Destiny. Get this shit out of here. <laughs> You're gonna make me mute the alerts, huh? Then no one can then, then no one gets them. All my keychains. Why her. does the channel so points they make noise? So Give that happy. kitty a hot so dog. Every time I grab my keys 
I'm gonna think of her, and I think that's so cute. Of, like of what? destiny. So now on my keys we have the Billie Eilish merch, a diamond, and the cute little hot dog oh guy. Oh my god! So wow. I'm actually gonna be cooking for my mom. Man, that's how I, that, you know how I can tell you don't drive. <laughs> Because look at your fucking keychain. Imagine, imagine, imagine that hitting your knee. The very first time in my whole entire life. Yes, my whole entire life. My mom has never had my cooking and I want to make her. Let's see what we got here. The ingredients for the chili. Ground turkey, chili powder, chicken broth, diced tomatoes, tomato juice, black beans, kidney beans, cayenne, cumin, red pepper flakes, salt, Mexican cheese, queso, uh, saltines, Fritos, onion. Fuck you, Becky. Fuck you, Becky. We're putting onions in it. No one can stop us now. <sighs> All right, take it easy, Jackie. Jackie. Dad, you used my spare key. Because I have pepper spray. He was scared he would spray himself. Mm. Mm. She didn't have salt. Hey, I run out of salt sometimes. And her boyfriend Usually have a spare. Chili, so I have a little store list started. So I don't forget. Paper towels, drinks, salami, that. red onion. Is that so all for the I'm chili too? I'm the ingredients today. I'm probably not going to make it today though. So I'm making an Amy's TV dinner because that's just what I'm having. I'm having the pesto. Okay. And this was actually. I'm having California. this because it's what I'm having. Okay. In California, which is my hometown. I just thought that was so crazy. Petaluma. If you guys want to know. Petal straight out of Petaluma. Represent. Hello. So I just got back from the grocery store. So we're gonna do a haulage. The groceries are here. So before anyone says anything, I am wearing the necklace. Okay. Sounds right. like a fucking so medical condition. A place called Sprouts. I'm not gonna haul anything that get is with, this, with this fucking leather jacket. Has to do with the chili, but I'll haul the other stuff. And these bags, I actually got four of them. They're actually oh god, the and leather I pay jacket. Ten cents per one, and there's four bags, so <laughs> kind of cool. I'm also gonna be you just get off the red carpet here. So I got some Italian dry salami. And then some peppered salami. Okay. I got some port wine cheese spread. And there's like almonds around it. I don't know. Figured uh. I would try it. Sounds good. Got a red onion. Living by yourself, I realize you only need no. to buy one single lonely potato. Never. No. Why? Just, just get a fucking five pound bag. <laughs> just, next time you need a potato. What? Got some crushed. Why am I still wearing these? I got some crushed uh, red pepper flakes because I didn't have any. I got some beef tamales. I'm a tamale girly, so good. I got a TV dinner. It okay. is paneer tikka masala. I got organic wild mushroom with Italian herbs chicken sausage. And then I also got an organic Cajun style. I got some olives. I got these oh, pink Himalayan salt I'm checking out. flatbread crackers. Jalapeno cheddar sesame sticks. This is so Fuck. random and so weird. I just had to try it, which I'll try in a vlog. Salted. What in the fucking truck stop shit that's in the back corner is this? Garlic chips. These fucking sesame sticks. Like literal garlic. I don't know how that's going to taste. What? Had to try it, which I'll try in a vlog. It's just dried garlic? Salted garlic chips. Like literal garlic. I don't know how that's going to taste. I'll eat it. Yeah, not yeah pass least. those over. I got this protein bowl mediterranean style it has chickpeas a bean medley couscous carrots a uh, red bell pepper with a citrus basil vinaigrette what the fuck is that? i thought that sounded so good so this is probably gonna gross everyone out which i'm fine with that okay i'm fine with that i made some chicken salad It's just pretty simple chicken salad, but Coleslaw. I will say it's delicious. And I usually like to dip like crackers in there, but I was like, okay, what's something I could do 
that would just be a little better for me but isn't like, okay okay here's that attention you ordered jesus christ okay like a celery stick or wow well, i'm gonna go I'm gonna go right on the subreddit. What is she? What was the idea behind this? She drives me crazy. Do, like carrots and stuff. What was she thinking with this lately. one? So I was like, Always something not? new with that Do one. Stick. You guys, it's honestly so good. Oh yeah, that slaps. So a melt. How about a fucking melt? So I wanted to give an update on my Pac-Man Lego. Right now, I just had to put In every single own. one of these pieces. She's trying to start a food trend like veggies, cottage cheese, and mustard. <laughs> Next TikTok trend. This is together. Every single one. There's like a million of them. I'm working on the okay. inside. Oh, there's right a now. belt? This has taken me a while. That going. Oh, this looks like fun. Awesome. But this yeah, I don't know about you. I'd do this. <laughs> I would I would do this in one sitting. I know that I know that's obviously like a thing you probably can't do. It's probably like a hundred hours, but like I would probably stop to sleep and then other absolute essentials. Here. I would just go in on like this that. shit. I feel like. Oh my god, I'm loving it so far. So that really long piece I just showed you guys, I had to connect it and put it's it a here, belt. so it like moves like this. I also had to do one of them. A little small one over here last night right so it just moves like that right y'all i just had to count out each one of these why because i needed 64 of them 64 of them 128 of them and sometimes they give extra so i like to have it all just laid out so i know like oh i, I would have just put them pieces, together but i have to make this i would have just put them all together instead of counting to 64 three times 64 times and then plug it into this little guy Oh, that's going to take a long time, but I love tedious stuff like that. Alrighty, so I made each one. I would have been done. I would have been done by the time. And now I am going to you count all pet this shit. kitty because she's obsessed. Yeah. Hi, Rarity I'll Great. Put, it, put them in here. Yeah, I have a mess. And I do have my Legos. Oh my God, what are you doing with the with the brownie <laughs> in a bit tin? dish because what? it's just working out that way, but... My casserole. All right. Now we're going to put all these in here. All right. So I got them all in there. Wow. Is that... This is what we're doing today? Yeah. Watching you She's complete sections of the Lego? on top of a pillow, which the pillow is on top of me. Hi. So I just woke up. It is morning. But, Same makeup from the past three days, or I what? I need to get this video up. Oh, it's such a sweetie. Are you a sweetie? How is Rarity Gray today? She's like, why'd you stop petting me? Oh, an update? Probably. My first plant I've Probably ever owned. Thinking. It's still alive. A lot of people were confused by that when I said it's my first plant I've ever Why has it got had. a fucking that is boner? That I've ever had by myself. What's because that? me and my ex, I mean, she had plants. The hell is that thing doing? Obviously, like, I adopted them as well to be my little babies. But, like, this is my first plant that I just had by myself. I actually named my plant Slytherin. Random fact. And the same person who got me this plant also got me this lamp that I also named Luna. Who the fuck yes, is this? I name objects. I name objects and I also name little kitties. I don't know if you guys knew this, but all my fur babies have um, middle names as well. Rarity, so do mine. Her middle so name mine. is Gray, spelled G R R A E, and then Twinkie is Twinkie Star, oh, and Wasabi is Wasabi Dot. So, they all have middle names. Okay, say goodbye. So true. So true. Goodbye. You have a middle name too, but we don't we don't talk about that, do we? I hope you guys have a good day. Bye. Look at that cute face. Wow. Wasabi.com. No, not chill video game music. No. <sighs> Her naming the objects reminds me of that SpongeBob episode where he's like terminally indoors, chip, penny, and napkin vibes. So true. So true. You're right for that. Eating Taco Bell in bed at 2 a.m. Who hasn't? Um, Cooked my mom my famous chili. Infamous chili, you mean. And making... Personal charcuterie board. Oh, is that why she got the salami? 
That's what the salami's for and those maybe those sesame sticks or something. What's our girl gonna do for her thirty third birthday? No ages in chat. You're out of here. No. Uh, um. What's she gonna do for her thirty third birthday? Drink. Casino. Cry. Uh, make a video. No, not make a video. Yamato's? Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Hello. Welcome to my vlog. So we're going to start off with a little mini personal charcuterie board that literally is going to be knockoff charcuterie board because it's not going to be that great oh it's so i have like a whole not authentic charcuterie board set up to be honest i have a whole moment this big guy okay but i'm gonna oh my god wait let me see that i have a whole moment this big guy jamie got one of those for thanksgiving small, the small fella so i'm gonna show you everything i'm gonna have on the plates so in my last vlog, I hauled these for you guys. They're salted garlic I chips. I want to try so those. Try I do want to so try those. I'm definitely going to try these. Now let's go into my fridge. Obviously, we're going to have some salami. What's that, Diet this Dr. Pepper? Fine cheese spread with like almonds. So we're going to have some of that. So we have uh, Kalmata olives. So it's not personal then. Green olives. So I'm going to be doing those. Olives? And then over here. All of these nuts in, my in your mouth? Pantry, I have these pretzels that I also got. Pink Himalayan salt. Multi -green I remember. Flatbread. I remember you pulling those out. So now I'm gonna assemble. Why are they calling it, it a flatbread? Tripod. Okay. First things first. Be real. Let's add the cheese. Now we're gonna add some salami. I promise, salami? if I was doing this for like salami? a get together and not just by myself, I would like be decorative. Like I would fold them. I would have like fruit and veggie. And before anyone says anything, no, sure. I am not gonna eat all this cheese. Sure you would. That would literally make me sick. I just did it, you know, because it looks cute. So next is some I would have. of the I would have. olives. Just going to add there. I'm also going to put the green olives here. Okay. I only need a few. And then I'm going to take some of the crackers. That's... They're actually... Come on. Actually more a lot olives. Longer than more I was olives. Them to be. And then some of these garlic chips. Hit me with oh those God, olives. So bad. Like, I need something here. If I could have anything here right now. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. All of a sudden, now it is aesthetic. Oh, interesting. Now it is. But now, we're gonna now <laughs> guys, if, if it wasn't just for me, I'd totally be making it look all nice and everything. Oh, now that there's a space available, all of a sudden, it doesn't look right. Stick with something else. They're like hot tamales. They're like. <sighs> okay. Go the That's fuck. What in the oh. fucking. Fucking. Thank, it's Thanksgiving. Charlie Brown is this fucking shit. <laughs> Get the fucking toast and popcorn out. I'm not lie. I do have like a little cheese spreader. Let me see if I can. Proud find of myself it. for that so one. It should be in here. Yes. Okay. Sirens in her. In her. Uh... It came with Video. A, oh, do you guys hear the siren? I hope everything is okay. So this actually came as a whole set. So it's pretty neat. Pioneer sure woman, right? It's gonna <laughs> fall, but you guys already saw what it looked like. While I eat, I'm actually gonna be watching the news. Is this a charcuterie board or is you just is this just you assembling your food for the afternoon all at once so you don't have to go back up and get the fucking tamal? <laughs> Not tamal. Uh, squid games the challenge okay let's taste test a garlic chip like what is that okay texture is crunchy flavor is garlicky she's good now i'm gonna take my little cheese spreader you know what? i would like some garlic stuffed olives and we're about to Spread some cheese. I don't think we're going to, yeah, I don't think we're going to see those garlic chips again. Oh my God, the cracker is going to crack. Uh, told you. That's you. That's all on you. How about let's just like dollop you it You fucked on there, that you know up. I don't know if I've ever had this cheese before. It's not Sounds the cracker's familiar. fault. Knows, but let's do a taste test. Mmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my God. That's so good. Okay, I'm going to add some cheese. 
We're going to do a whole moment, okay? I'm going to add some salami. She is miserably bad at that. We're going to have an olive. All right. Cheers. I'd simply mm -hmm. eat them separately. 10 out of 10, recommend. Okay, so I ate all of the salami and the olives and... That's everything else. I, I didn't. Have. I didn't need proof. So I'm just gonna go but put okay. the back in the fridge, and that was a really good meal. Take that, haters! I didn't eat the block of cheese. Oh, it was very satisfying. Oh, you got them. Y'all, I don't know what it is, but the sky is literally doing something for me. Um. I don't, yeah, I don't know. The, the, the fucking Elon broke the simulation. I guess. That's... Look how cool it looks. I don't know. That's how. She, this is how she knows the Earth is flat. Mother Nature. Hours and oh, hours it is later. It's storming for the first time since I have been living in Oklahoma. It's gonna it flood. Looks like a flood is happening outside. And there's lightning, thunder. Like my poor babies are so scared. And this is only the third time it's rained. Like what? Glad so to see you comforting the them in their time the of need. Walmart. Look at how gorgeous. Damn, if if my Some pets were upset, beautiful. I'd probably be like, "Hey, it's Literally all right." The same quality as the Starbucks I'll sit by ones, you. which I'll show you the ones I have. Oh, I need to wash these before I put them away, obviously. But the ones that no. I do have, I have a pink one and like a maroon. These are both Starbucks brand, and then I also wow. think I got this from Walmart. And then I have the Stanley. They look if like we bathrooms. We want to talk cups in general. This is all that I have. I have two of these guys, two of these, one mug. Well, it's just Those. you, ain't it? And now Fucking Becky got all the plates and glasses in the divorce. These cuties. So as you guys know, I discovered Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze, which is literally the best. Uh, you didn't discover it. I started drinking it. I started. I'm pretty sure it's a product that's manufactured. I'm obsessed with it. And people were like, Amberlynn, you don't actually need that. Maybe I don't, but I will say what I have noticed is ever since I started drinking these, I feel more hydrated and I don't really get Charlie horses in my legs anymore. So I am trying sure. to like be up, moving, doing sure. more. So when that happens, sometimes at night while I'm sleeping, I get Charlie horses. But ever since I started drinking this, I don't get them anymore. But then I sadly went to the store and okay. they didn't have Gatorade Zero Glacier Freeze. And I was like, crap, what do I do? So I... Please never send her info about like alternative medicine or anything because she'll just fuck I ended you. up being without these for like a week. What are Charlie horses? Uh, I think it's a cramp, right? It's like a specific cramp. Eek. And I started getting Charlie horses again. I was like, is this a coincidence? I don't know. So I said, screw it. Since I can't get the zero, I'll just get the regular one, which does suck, I will say, because it's like. Like, look at those carbs. Look at the sugars. Look at the calories. The one I use. But you gotta, you gotta get rid of those Charlie horses, and this is the only way to do it. Charlie drink has zero all of that, and it's crazy. But I prefer the zero, like this. Sending Amberlynn a pamphlet about how a Reiki healing will cure her bipolar disorder. Nice. nice. This one, it tastes great. Like I love it. I'm obsessed. <sighs> I'm definitely gonna drink them. But the other one tastes so much better. Oh, so so what I gathered from that is. Sweet, tasty beverage makes me drink more fluids. Hello, hello. BPD is borderline, not bipolar. What the? What's the P for? Polar. personality she ain't got that <laughs> oh Hello, it is the next day if i look tired i am tired so two nights ago i only slept for two uh, hours uh, and then last night i only slept for four so you know what i'm grateful that I got any sleep at all but I am definitely low on energy. I'm tired. It was all worth it, though. Um, I'm sorry. What the fuck is she, was she saying? She slept for two hours last night. Only slept you know for what? four. I'm grateful that I got any sleep at all. 
but I am definitely Bless. low Praise. energy. I'm Praise tired. him. It was all worth it, though. He um, has blessed me with two hours mom sleep. and her boyfriend are actually coming over today, and I'm going to be making some chili. Um, this is the first time that she's ever had my cooking, ever. Like, I'm 32, and she has never ate my cooking before, so... That's going to be fun and interesting. And I know you, she like says jokes. that she says that as if she's a cook. There's memes. Wait a little. You know, it's been 33 years and you haven't tried this. Whatever it may be where people talk about my chili online, but everyone in my real life who has ever tried it thinks it's the best. Like one of my exes, the pickiest. I forgot Las Vegas is a different time to you. What, is, what does that have to do? Oh, my parents land like 40 minutes. Oh, 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 your parents are going to Vegas. Must be fucking nice. Ever. And she said that's the best chili she's ever had. So literally anyone who's ever tried it loves it. Um, I love it. Like, I do know how to cook. I have made some very questionable choices in the past with soups. Especially okay. when I was dating Destiny. Um, very questionable. They always tasted good. Um, I would never make a soup like that now. I just want to make that very clear. Okay, so, sure. This isn't the shit she usually makes. So my chili is almost done. It's been simmering <laughs> my for spatula. about twenty minutes. No, this is this is not this is not the same fucking thing. It's now. So I'd say it probably has about ten. You minutes. think I'm? A, you think you can't? You can't? You can't the fucking cover up history. <laughs> you can't. Okay, so my mom. You can't retroactively change your chili recipe and pretend it's been this the whole time. Why chickpeas in the chili? What's wrong with the garbanzo bean? I haven't gone for some hours. You know the difference between a chickpea and a garbanzo bean? I didn't bean? vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy to vlog in front of her boyfriend. Like, I, I don't, why is she acting like this is her chili? This is not how she has ever made it. It is never. You you can't you can't see the ingredients in it. It's because it's just a layer of fluid. Her chili. I'd say it probably has about ten more. Okay, so my mom there? and her boyfriend have been gone for some hours. I didn't vlog because I'll vlog in front of my mom, but I get a little shy to vlog. I love boyfriend. Chickpeas. Like me and him, we get along really good. I really like him, but like okay. I get nervous vlogging in front of certain people. But okay. I was shocked. Um, they loved my chili. They both got up to get a second bowl, and I was like, okay, I did that. Normally, I make my chili more like... That. What is she doing? What is she doing? What am I supposed to do with this? Actually, guys, uh, everyone that uh, uh, ever has always loved my chili... Oh, you can't see. Oh, my God. It's not my fault. It's not my fault. I was pushed to the brink. All right. In front of certain people. But I was shocked. Um, They loved my chili. They both got up to get a second bowl. And I was like, okay, I did that. Normally, I make my chilies more like a chili soup because I really They were paid off. They were paid. Broth. But I wanted to Broth. make it more thick this time. Came out really freaking good. Um, I like to eat mine with Fritos. So my mom had hers with Fritos Crunch them up well. on top, imagine. Uh, her boyfriend requested saltines. So I got those for him. And then while we were eating, um, I had them watch A Simple Favor. But it turns out I've already had my mom watch that movie, if you guys know me. That's my favorite movie. What's this now? I'm new to the streams. Why is English only a rule? Because how am I going to know what you're saying otherwise? How's it going, Adventure Flies? Welcome on in. Movie. But her boyfriend's never seen it. So, um, yeah, an amazing movie. And there's going to be a second one that's supposed to come out at the end of 2024. I never like, yelled at you for speaking so, French. Hurry it up. Oh, this is scary. Oh, my God. Hello. Fucking jump scare. <laughs> hey. French is I'm actually allowed. about to just have some of these hot tamales. For, to to for today. Like for today, I'll allow French. Hot Story tamales? So my dad. 
I'm going to find out. Hold on. Hot tamales ingredients. Let's find out what is not vegan about these guys. Bugs! Sugar, corn syrup, modified food starch, contains less than 0.5% of the following artificial flavors, dextrin, uh, beetle excrement, uh, <laughs> medium chain triglycerides, carbon uber wax, sodium citrate, pectin, citric acid, malic acid, for my guys, yeah, the, 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 tart, 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 resin. That's what the hell? <laughs> it's got bugs in it. Thanks for the follow adventure. Dad, when I was younger, um, when I lived with him, yes, I was in foster care. People get confused because, like, I'll share stories about, like, foster care and then, like, times where I lived with my parents. It's got shellac like, yes. in it. Both of those things happened. But anyways, my dad had his own lawnmower shop. Like, he had his own business. A lot of sketchy things have happened there. Things that I remember. I'm sorry, what the fuck? Your dad has a lawnmower shop? What? Where, how do we get here? These... I used to eat these as a little girl. I see like a at random the, little at the lawnmower shop. Story time. So my dad, when I was younger, um, when I lived with him, yes, I was in foster care. People get confused because like I'll share stories about I like think you foster guys are care confused? and like times where I lived with my parents. And I'm like, yes. Both of those things happened. But anyways, my dad had his right. own lawnmower shop. Like he had his own business. A lot of sketchy things have happened there. Go on. People gone missing, etc. Things that I remember, things that my mom have recently reminded me about. Girl, maybe we could share some of those stories some other time. But um, I loved going there and I would sit in a little like office thing. And when someone would come up, I'd be like, okay, let me go get my dad. There is. Ah, uh, yes, child labor, of course. Distinct fun things I do remember. Um, one of them is we had this like huge Popeye machine that we actually had in like the Popeye. lobby. So I play that a lot. And then we had like this little like, uh, good, good. machine and I would always eat the hot tamales out of there. That's literally my story time. Nice. <laughs> like when I tell you I have some interesting stories from that place, I mean it. But um, hot tamales reminds me of that era of my life. It's kind of like not good, but like I was craving them. So I was like, oh my God. But like my memory and my heart is just like, ooh. Well, just say fucking hot tamales good. I don't know. Why did you have to attach trauma to it? Hello? Like <laughs> So, oh my god, I just stood outside for an hour. I was waiting for the Uber because I got some Taco Bell. Just say it's you like moment. to eat fine, the wax that comes out of beetles. It's fine. Just, just say hand, that. And it has to be the softest <laughs> hand I've ever felt. So, um, anyways... I was out there for like an hour. I didn't realize I was going to be out there for an hour. But the Uber was running very behind, which happens. Not complaining. But. Oh, I'm sorry. Where where did she come from? She looks. It's a moment. She looks it's drunk. It's fine, I promise. And I met a guy and I shaked his hand. She looks drunk, right? Met a guy, shaked his hand. Shaked it. And, and it has to be the softest hand I've ever felt. So, um, anyways, Run. I was out there for like an hour. I didn't realize I was going to be out there for an hour, but the Uber was running very behind, which happens, not complaining, but. And you were, and you were stuck with soft hands. It's like 33 waiting degrees for, waiting and for I wasn't wearing Uber. a coat. My nose like burns and my cheeks burn and my fingers were numb, but we're okay. Um, we're going to do a Taco Bell haul. Um, yeah, so I was massively- You stood outside and now you're cold? Okay. I'm craving, they're just like chips and nachos, so you just get those little chips and nachos. Okay. Chips and cheese. And then the you can go for the nacho fries? Okay. There. And yes, um, it's actually 2 a.m. Right Could have gotten the <laughs> vegan nacho cheese. Oh, boy. And I got two- why do we get the feeling that she walked downstairs and when she saw the food was running late, she figured I'd rather stand inside than walk, stand outside and walk back to her apartment? Is that what, is that what you're saying? Of these tacos, because they're like my favorite. It's just like the regular hard taco, 
but it's like the the cheese one so you guys have seen me like do a mukbang of this i would have gotten a crunch wrap that's bomb i found some chips at the bottom of the bag so score for me anyways i don't know why is she acting like she's fucking 19 <laughs> hi i'm not doing vlogmas this year it's been weird for me everyone just uploaded Wait, their first what? vlogmas video and i am like oh that was once gonna be me that once was me and she got, she got like some glitter extensions going on or something or or she's just glistening. Said I am eating Taco Bell in my bed. Oh, oh, she can't do Vlogmas because it reminds her of her ex. Is that what she's saying? God. Hello. So it's been like. Aren't you sick of it? Aren't aren't you getting tired of this? Having your life ruined. These chips are the grossest. By just remembering things I've ever tasted. Things. God. I was looking forward to this more Berry than anything hair? else. Oh. They taste like poisoned, bitter oil chips. Hold on. Things I've ever tasted. Taco Bell yeah. in my bed. Hold on. Mm. Hello. So it's been like 10 minutes. These chips are the grossest things I've ever tasted. Ever? I was looking forward to this more than anything else. They taste like poisoned, bitter oil chips. Uh, you or you, you ordered Taco Bell at two a.m. That's all I can say. Like, what what did you want? Fresh food? Like, disgusting. Okay, so you think they're back there, fresh fryer, getting getting crisping up fresh tortilla chips? We're always at two in the same fridge, aren't we? Yes. I have a few buzz balls. Don't come for me. Since most of my meals. Guys, I ordered I ordered Taco Bell in the middle of the fucking night and uh it was not quality. Uh sucked. Um I'm gonna have a few pieces of salami. Do not order Taco Bell at two AM real scary. So Huh. Say Taco Bell in the mirror so three good. times. Like I realized, salami. Everything about salami is the very thing that I hate in life. Cold, gross, red-looking meat. No, you don't get to have an opinion like that. You don't get to. You don't get to because there's just that is just there's a there's a solution. Everything I hate, really, really, truly, like ew. But I grew up on it. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> So I'm used to it. I'm obsessed with it. It's so good. It's not healthy by any means, but she's tasty. All right, good luck. So yes, salami instead of. All right, good luck. Poisoned chip oil. I would have gone with the poisoned chips. I don't know about you. Hello. No. My no. So we're no. 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 Any comment? No, nothing good. Amber's going to develop transfer addictions to alcohol and slash or gambling without ever getting weight loss surgery. Maybe. She certainly seems to be trying to, right? <sighs> how, are we, how are we feeling about all that? Not to be wild, but whatever happened to making changes to save her life? Um... I think I think you're very rudely forgetting that she had her heart broken twice. So cut her some slack. Uh, she she managed to find herself in a position where she where she was in love with two people at the same time, of no fault of her own, no fault of her own. Uh, and this is how she, this 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 is what works for her. Uh, to come. <laughs> yeah, be please more of an empath next time. Yeah, I don't think you realize that she's crying every day over multiple exes. Anyway, that's that. Is it? This is the first two out of the. 
I uploaded a thing recently. We haven't watched any Everland since then, right? I don't know. How you doing? Okay. Uh, yep. We got we got three videos to watch. I'm pretty sure. Glad we got the chat back on the screen. This is the thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. So we watched. We definitely watched eating Taco Bell in bed at two a.m. Right. On here, yeah. So, oh yeah, we watch these three. Probably have enough stuff to make another one of those videos. Speaking of emotes, you get new slots for emotes. Saw that some have. Oh yeah, I did see a thing about that. Uh, that they doubled something like the animated slots or something or follower emotes or something. I haven't looked into it yet. Okay, all right, all right. Sorry, I'm back. I'm back. Um. Yeah, I think we watched this one. We got opening up about my dating life, everything I ate today, and easy pasta recipe. If it's not daddy's fucking pasta, we riot. Uh, and I got a new piercing. Let's talk about my boyfriend. <laughs> what? And my hidden talent. Oh, my God. The clickbait is, is, is baiting. Uh... She is a master clickbaiter. My legs are getting bigger. <laughs> Tell me about it. I feel ugly because of my disease, uh, jaundice, and run errands with me. Okay, and I see there's a light show they drive through. Very cool, very cool. God, I, my, my heart is not in it today for... For watching silly videos on the internet. Oh, Cobra's live. Here, he just got his hair dyed. Opening about my dating life, everything I ate today, and easy pasta recipe. Daddy's pasta recipe. Why is there no sound? Okay. Captions on. To a new vlog. I know I've been MIA. I just don't... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I have a million things to say, but are any of them worth saying? That's my headspace right now, but anyways, hello. I am interesting, born. interesting thought process. Today. So it took me when this is your almost two hours to do my hair, and that's why I haven't put waves in it because it does take literally forever. So a lot of people have asked about my fairy hair. I can wash it, straighten it, curl it, do whatever I want with it. What it is, is, that what it's called? is like these strands, which silk, no. Ugh, I don't remember what, not but vegan. it goes to the root of just one of your hairs. Oh, oh why is like the audio? Oh my God, is so, she like half covering the microphone or something? Oh God, that's so annoying. But when that natural hair comes out or falls out, that's when the fairy hair will come out. I think in total, I've had two or three fall out already. Um, I am What's it, Mercury? More. I'm probably going to stick with the gold because I feel like it goes really good with my hair. But yeah, you just treat your hair like you normally treat it. You, you wash are. it. Brush it, whatever Tinsel. it may be, and yeah. Currently taking my baby for a walk. Is that frost or just really dead yeah. grass? It honestly feels so good outside today. Like what? So I think I'm going to walk Twinkie a little bit further than we usually go because it just feels so good. Okay, so I think I just came to terms okay. with I need to start doing my makeup in natural sunlight because your girl be looking a little different when she's in the sunlight. Ooh. Looks like she's got eye boogies right in the middle there. Ooh. Looks like she, she woke up from a, a bad nap. Y'all, I'm just noticing that every single day I am improving my stamina and I love it. I think everyone's favorite. That libido, like, that drive. It? It's really just me pushing myself to do more. So I'm feeling a little hungry. I noticed that a lot of the foods that I'm eating. Lately Rocky eat montage. Very high in sodium. Here's a beautiful example of that. Dang, my brine. favorite freaking pickle ever so i am a texture girly she has this quite right the fear it's the of sodium. classic big crunch snackums kosher dill this is the way to go please i don't like so that good. they're called snackums the i really like the cool blue gatorade as well we know so it's the only way you'll hydrate apparently i need like a meal though because that's having one pickle it's not going to sustain me. So I think I'm going to have this really? Pesto Tortellini. It's the great value brand. Walmart. Literally the best thing I've ever ate. Like, 
so good. Walmart pesto tortellini, the greatest food you've ever had. This had better not be the fucking pasta recipe. If this is the pasta recipe, I'm going to be real upset. Oh my god, bingo again. More gambling. What's next, church? When I watch her vlog, I always think to myself, what is the most unimportant thing I can ask her? Next vlog, I'm asking her, what's her opinion on breathing oxygen? That's great. That's great. Wait for the next Q&A. Zach has asked worse, so. Here's a question. Here's a question. If next time, next time you have a, uh, next time you have a, a chat with Amberlynn, uh, ask her, and you guys can answer in the chat. Um, how much, how much poop you can do? You think you can put in a chocolate bar before people start to notice? Like the like, give me a percentage. <laughs> So we just left bingo. My mom won. I didn't. So, boo. Nice. So my sweet What'd angel she baby is currently in the sink because while mama was gone, she got into something and I literally can't figure out what it is. Classic. A classic. Twinkie getting into the trash. At all. But she has green... Watch her take that question face. personally. I'll post a picture here so you guys can see. Is this about the potato? Oh. Yeah, she's green. Uh, I don't know. I'd be concerned. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I say like 40%. You think you can get away with with up to 40%? I was going to say like four, five tops. You think if there's only 60% chocolate left, the rest of it is poop, you'd, 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 you'd have a hard time telling? It's okay. She's actually a sweet baby. She hates baths, but she's really good and she listens. But Why is green on you? You have what to. Is it? You have to be able to figure out, like how much stuff is at floor level. That's so stupid. That what? How stupid do you have to be to not be able to just look around your house and figure out? What she got into that turned her fucking green. If it's Hershey's chocolate, hundred percent. Oh, cause it's shit. Cause it's shit. Is that what you're saying? You gotta get it off. Are you mama's good girl? Oh, come here. Oh, it's okay. I don't know what was green. We gotta figure it figure out. Figure it the fuck out. Yeah. Now, immediately. The last episode, the finale of Squid Game, the challenge is up, and I'm so excited. This oh, do you mean the the most fucking trash uh, entertainment that uh, you could possibly such a think of? Good show. So I think I'm gonna have a couple drinks. I am an adult. You would. You um, would like absolute trash. I know people, you would love watching trash. What am I doing with my hair? I know people are worried. <laughs> There's nothing to be worried about. I'm sorry that I. Ever and they, here I am, question. right? Um, there was a moment where I felt like I was turning to alcohol and I'm really not because I noticed like if I'm in a bad mood, I'm not going to drink. I've, I've talked about this Holy before. Holy shit. Um, I kind of just. All right, to... Cobra. All right. Here. What as else? the girly pop that I am. And I want to watch this final episode. It's 44 minutes long. Y'all, my attention span is non-existent. There's only a few shows where I can actually sit and be like, wow, I am so entertained. <laughs> ADHD diagnosis coming in nice. Anybody? What happened with Twinkie? Uh, Amberlyn got home and Twinkie had like green on her face. And uh, I guess Amberlyn just kind of accepted that as this the way things are. And also Jersey Shore family vacation. 
um, that's like top two right now. Oh, I can that's actually also sit and trash. watch a full episode in one go. No movies. Just nothing. rewatch the original like, Jersey Shore. That would, would be like, better. YouTube video, nothing. Than the Speaking fucking scripted video. bullshit. Chantel. Her not that the video, not that the original I'm wasn't obsessed. scripted to um, an extent, but how she you know. lied about her way in. Like literally, okay. Like, do you want my crown? Because I can go get it for you. Polish it off. Like that's the type of energy we need in this. Community. Find something else to talk about. Open. God. We'll start this episode. Slami and some slami. This garlic and herb to slami cheese spread with some crackers. I'm gonna watch my show. It's gonna be a time. I promise. Cheers. You're like, why is she trying to get involved in some drama? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought we weren't turning to alcohol. Everybody Women owned fuzz balls. Just have to be on guard. Love supporting. Honestly, today has been a weird pasta toxin day for me. distribution. I don't really usually Let's have this much go. pasta, but your girl's craving carbs. As I drink so a Mountain Dew. <laughs> I'm currently just boiling some. Okay. See, if I did this, I would be hiding it in shame. Elbow pasta here. If I decided to boil some, of this some pasta like butter, that. Garlic salt. I, like, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it, but I, I certainly wouldn't be flaunting it. Grated Parmesan cheese and some tapatio, and it's going to be great, I promise. Oh my God, what is this? this is Grandma's pasta? pasta? Gorilla elbows. So one thing about me is I do like my pasta al dente. I do not like it. Okay. What are we doing with this pan? Squishy, no. And smushy, no. Let me try one here. That is pretty close to perfect. So let me let it boil for another. You can't be. You can't so. be particular okay, take this about your pasta back. texture and then be cooking it like this. I'm going to it's add not fucking mac and butter. cheese. Garlic salt, the Parmesan, and the Tapatio. And then I just continuously stir. It usually takes a few minutes. So as it does its thing, I'm actually just going to turn off the burner. Oh my because goodness. the heat will stay. This better not be daddy's pasta. I made this, I want to say like a week ago. And it was so delicious. I was like, okay. I don't know what it is, but I'm just like not on track <laughs> at all. You don't know what it is? I think you do. Sort of way. And I was actually thinking about going Guys, back. Guys, it's the to weirdest day, thing. I have not been on track. Weird. Isn't that weird? Now, and see, I lost 30 pounds. I will, I'll, I'll, I'll often continue to uh, cook, cook it a little bit. After adding the sauce, it helps you know. In just one month. Uh, like get it, get it all, get it all to know each other. So but well. uh, in this case, uh, fucking like melted parmesan, you're just cooking right, that. Like, so uh, here is my pasta. I promise <laughs> it might not look the greatest, but it tastes so good. So I'm sure there's plenty. You just to made. Come for me for you in just, this video. you just made. There's nothing in the fridge, but I'm gonna try to make. Yo. mac and cheese anyway but i think i own like three spoons and they're dirty i really didn't feel like cleaning them so i'm literally eating my pasta with a measuring spoon is she is she crying yes, <laughs> Wait, what? spoons it might not look the greatest but it tastes this so is, good so i'm sure there's this is a fucking struggle meal right here to come for me for in this video oh uh, maybe she's just fucking drunk there's something up with her eyes but I think I own like three spoons this is, and they're dirty. I really this is like such them, a struggle. I'm literally eating my pasta with a measuring spoon. Yes, I am. Makes pasta in a fucking little pan. Boiling pasta in a little fucking pan. No sauce. Just starts like frying some Parmesan in it. D drunk. Red eyes eating it with a fucking teaspoon. 
Jesus, so, you, you would have you would have you would have thought she just got back from like the bar and it's like four a.m. Hey Zach, something I have noticed living on my own is like I cook a lot for one person because I'm used to cooking for two people. But one thing I am proud of, like I don't know if I've ever cooked years. less than an, an entire box so, of pasta. Like I would have made too much, <laughs> ate the whole thing. How but can you fry pasta but can't wash a spoon? Saving. So true. I would just simply wash one of the spoons. You're right. For tomorrow. I will say I do have a bad habit of always putting all of my food in one bowl. Food? When it's like obvious I'm not going to eat the whole Why is it food? Thing. Maybe it's why, is she, why does she have to say food like she's like an indie singer? Food in one bowl when it's like obvious I'm not going to eat the thing. Maybe it's because like for my me food. it's satisfying knowing like I can stop myself now from eating the whole thing, whereas years ago... Why is she were... eating on hard mode? What the fuck? Eat the whole thing. Even for we're tomorrow. going back. I will say I do have a bad habit of always putting I all lost my gravity. food in one bowl when it's like obvious I'm not going to eat the whole thing. Maybe it's because like for me, it's satisfying knowing like... She wants the I extra challenge mode? The What's going whereas... on? years ago new game plus eating table. dinner but all of this i'm done that was so good i like putting all my food in a bowl even if i'm not going to eat it all because i like the challenge of stopping myself I'll save the rest for later <laughs> okay third buzz ball just kind of enjoying the night <laughs> i know a lot of you want me to live stream especially while drunk lynn is making an appearance and i Think about it a lot. I do. I have it in my brain frequently to live stream. Um, even sober, I feel like it would be super Don't do it. freaking fun. Even I sober? Wow. I have not live streamed since moving. Daddy. I haven't live streamed since when was the last time? Because you um, are really bad at it. Yeah. Okay. I remember now. So I don't know. Uh, it's like even talking about it now, I'm like, oh my God, should I go live stream right now? No, no. I know a lot of people want tea, which I have tea. <laughs> Especially Earl Grey? Like dating life. I'm not going to lie to you. I do, you know, I have, okay, I have been talking to people and I'm open to that, but like, I don't. The stalkers? You're talking to the stalkers? Right or? Now, unless like, you know, I fall in love or I'm just like, oh my God, this person is so perfect. You know, I'm not really like looking for That's definitely I going to happen. That that's the case, but I actually You're definitely love going to set yourself up myself. for that. So even if I got into a relationship, I don't want to like have a live in relationship. I want to experience okay. being okay. in a relationship with someone. Where okay. It's like, we go on dates. Yeah, every other time when you've been like, I'm not looking to get into anything serious. I'm not looking for a relationship. I'm just going to be by myself. Every time you've said that, uh, you've you've miraculously found yourself in a situation where like, hey, it's different this time. And like, you drop me off but at this my time, house. Or like, I have this days where I'm able to miss you. Like, dating. Like, true dating. Like, I don't want... A live-in girlfriend because that's what I've been doing since I was 18. Going steady. And I'm fixing to be 33 on the 27th. It is my birthday month, folks. Yes, it is. So it's like, uh, you know, Shrek out a whole era within stress. itself that lasted over a decade. It lasted 14 years. And it's like, I want to experience like continuously living on my own. No, and no, taking care of no, you never want that. Responsibilities you have never wanted that. You've said it every time and it has never been true. Way. Whereas like a partner is just like an extra part of my life and not like my whole life. <laughs> that has never I been your goal. I have a habit of making ever, my partners my whole yet life. You've um, especially claimed like, to seek it every time. I mean, even in like talking stages, I tend to do that as well. And I want to blame it on my BPD because, as you guys know, I was diagnosed borderline personality disorder. Mm, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, aren't you not taking any medicine for any of your uh, diagnoses? So it's kind of silly to blame them for things. I think I want to blame it on that, but I think also just like. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard to like separate your true self with, is this just like my mental illness? But um, deep down, I know that like I have a big heart and Not I tend in to therapy, love yeah. very strongly. That's just like who I am at my core. 
And I don't think I ever want to change. Yeah, she's 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 not uh refusing medicine or therapy for her for her mental illnesses. Uh, she's just accepting her true self, you guys. Uh, this that is that about me because I feel like that's a beautiful. She doesn't want to lose her There's sparkle. Just so much like hate in the world, and I'm just not that girly. I've never been that girly, and I know a lot of you dislike me because of oh, things I've done in the past. And it's just like, how did we get here? As a whole, I have changed a lot. Um, why am I getting emotional? I oh. I'm I got all my shit on plugs. I keep having to bring my set up to different places to record things. Big. Overall, as a whole, I have changed a lot. Um, why am I getting emotional? I owe a big thanks to my ex because I just, um, I feel like I am super immature in a lot of ways. I'm very childish, but she she helped ground me a little bit and she, I feel like I matured in certain aspects for sure um I'm always gonna be childish and I'm always gonna troll online but it's never out of like illness <laughs> like it's never like ill oh, what is that saying it's never like in an ill way like a bad way um, it's always just coming from like, hi, I'm a troll and I like to be stupid sometimes, you know? I don't even know what I'm talking about at this point. <laughs> don't mind me. I don't know. She I've likes a little bit of troll. A lot lately. Like, yeah, she about... still really doesn't understand <laughs> what trolling means. What does she think trolling is? She th she's like, guys, I was just trolling when she's like just lying. Like she thinks it's like high art satire. When she's just like saying things that clearly aren't true to get a reaction. Life in general and YouTube. I have went back and I've watched <sighs> videos. What is this? What is this? What is this? I'll trust you. Why hasn't anyone asked me my favorite color recently? So true. Hi, Tucker. What's the matter? You're hungry? Please don't hit the mic stand. You're making noise. I'll feed you in a sec, okay? From like 2019, 2017. And I feel like those eras were a very different Amberlynn. Like, true, it was the Deadpool hoodie a era. Very different Amberlynn. And it's like, I had no filter back then, like to the point of like, I even shocked myself with some of the things that I said. And I really feel like that's a big reason why people stuck she around. She should get into acting. And watched me because it's like, I shared. Because this is just drama club behavior right here. Craziest things. And now it's like those things that I shared. Tucker then, wants to I ship in the background. Share now, How's it going? No like one, you know. Like, a big disconnect and I literally hate that. I'm truly trying to find a balance between current Amberlynn, but also the Amberlynn that you guys enjoy most. And I am having a little bit of a hard time figuring. She shouldn't, she's not a good actor anyways. Yeah, that's what she should, she sh that's why she should be in drama club. Not out. So I think it's just like- the most annoying people. That's where they go. We all need to go. be patient. <laughs> I need to am be patient right? with myself. <laughs> I need you guys to be patient with me. I know my content is very far, few in between. Like I only upload once to like twice, maybe three times a week. And I wanna go back to like every other day. And it's like, I just actively find myself feeling super. Excuse, what the fuck was that Tucker? I'm gonna feed you in a second. Don't gnaw on my fucking knuckle. He's looking at me with such fucking disgust right now. 
self-conscious about <laughs> what I'm filming, what I'm saying. Please, can I finish and the video, Tucker? My I God. I that feeling. It's almost oh. over. So it prevents You don't need to bite. Filming. And I really, really this guy's got a that. fucking Sorry, attitude. Sorry, if you see me looking down, I'm just like <laughs> playing with this guy over and over and over. I'm a very fidgety person, like random fact. All right, what's what's the diagnosis for that one, Amberlyn? I'm sure if you guys have watched me long enough, you know that because it's something that I have shared. It's one of my ticks, actually. Anyways, I, I'm literally just rambling. I think she wraps too much of her personality with being in a relationship, so that's why now... It's just being sad about not being in a relationship. So true. At this point, I should have just live streamed. Oh, oh, you, why? Because it was a good, it was a good crying session. So you should have streamed it, all right? <laughs> okay. There's um, unfortunately two more of these to watch. Let me uh dish out some food for um this absolute terror of a cat real quick. Next up. We got, I got a new piercing. Let's talk about my boyfriend. Oh, clickbait bullshit. Uh, and my hidden talent vlog. Okay, wow. Vlog, I can wait for this one. I have not done my hair. As you can see, I have not done my makeup. As you can now, see. this is a throwback I am sweater. Cozy as can be, as you can see. I have not worn this in forever, and it's just so cozy, and I love see, it. See, see. But I'm actually about to get ready for the day. Um, I'm going to go take a quick shower. I don't think I'm washing my hair today. I don't really know. I wish I would have vlogged yesterday because my hair was on point. I'm going to put a photo right here. It was the day after I... I don't know. Some people say it's not crimping. I don't know. It's an actual crimper, so I don't know... It is what it is, but the waves were so pretty. I have never had my hair like that before. Um, the only time I've ever had my hair crimps or waves, Crimped? whatever it may be, Hi, is when it was like What's half the up matter? And down. But yesterday I wore it completely down with my hair like that, and it was just, I was obsessed. Like that is definitely- Damn, what else is going on? My hair. It was just like, it was a really good hair day, and I appreciate days like that. Okay. How are we a minute and a half into this and all we've done is her be like, guys, the other day my hair was so good. Sorry about today. So I'm going to get ready. I'll see you guys. When I'm oh, done. we're so still on it. I'm getting ready today. I've been listening to Trisha's podcast with Gigi. I like how every once in a while, Amberlynn will like to pretend that she is like upset with Trisha Paytas. For her just regular being like fucking trash. And then it just and then it just all comes back to just like her just being like, No, it's fine. No, it's I, I'm over it. She's good now. Yeah, for once in a while she like likes to pretend that that she's Be gorgeous. And I don't know what it is, her. but I have like <laughs> I think I have a crush on Gigi Gorgeous, which is weird because I'm not really into like the whole femme girly pop type of thing i think i have like a massive crush on her so that's a thing so my hair is super messy today but i yeah, actually definitely idolize for it i live for the best Davis. anyways we actually need to have a little discussion i'll set you guys right here i'm trying to decide what perfume i want to wear today oh i recently bought new perfume i bought a bunch of these like little Sample sizes of Marc Jacobs perfume because I've never actually smelt it before and I've always wanted to. So far, I've only smelt this one, which is Daisy Marc Jacobs, and it's so. Uh, yes, I see oh, the no, play I love button. It. There's a cat on the counter. That's okay. So one of my favorite perfumes, which I've said this, okay. is Versace Bright Crystal, and I have barely any more left, so I'm gonna use that. The low lighting, like the light, the the bright light behind her, and the low lighting on her face. And then the um, sharp lines on the makeup really makes it look. There's like a fucking TikTok filter on her with like a blurring effect. I'm definitely going to have to buy more because it's barely even wanting to come out. People are assuming that I have a boyfriend. No. Then, okay, so let's talk about my boyfriend. What a way to word that. I am not interested in men. This is such fake drama. 
I am a lesbian. I've said that countless times. The only man I would ever be interested in is your mama. If you look hard enough, you could find anyone saying literally anything about you that you feel like making the title of a video, so... Am I joking or am I not joking? We'll never know. But in a recent video, I said that I'm talking to people. And just because I said the word people, instead of saying like, I'm talking to women or girls, people just automatically assume okay. that meant I'm talking to a man. That's not what that means. Okay, so I just got back inside from walking Twinkie and now I'm finishing up the uh, Gigi Gorgeous. Oh my God. And Trisha podcast. Imagine if they had a podcast together. Oh, she is I, fucking simping. Yeah would die i feel like i could watch them for literally ever it says a lot it says a lot uh you know the type of uh online creators that you uh choose to refer to and idolize um i do have them on as as you being a content creator online times to speed because that is says how I a lot. Watch literally everything because my attention span is so bad anyway what's the diagnosis for that one guys, Dr. Um, Lynn? guys i think today's the day i have been saying for a very long time very very long time that there is a piercing that i want it used to be my septum i used to want a septum piercing really bad you guys haven't seen jamie's septum piercing right but then I got like a fake she's got, because I wanted got to see one on each side. How it would look on me. And, and at the time, it did not look good. This was back in like 2019. My face was a lot more round. I literally looked like the moon. Like it was like full moon tonight. Every I remember time. people dropping that emoji. Dustin, go ahead. There's food up there. There you go. Okay. The first time. All my nose pierced, but I'm scared. Uh, Jamie said it hurt really fucking bad and bled a lot at, in the moment. Uh, but I guess some people say that it doesn't hurt at all and there's no problems. But I guess it just kind of depends. She went to like a really good place too. I'm. I have done this. Some of these hate comments, I am just like, damn. My face is still really big, but nowhere near as big as it once was. I will say that. So I'm not really sure how a septum piercing would look on me now, but the practice ring that I had back then has scarred me from ever getting that. So that's not what it is. Um, it's something uh -huh. different and it's probably not going to be a big deal to all y'all, but it's just something that I have wanted for literally. Um... Horn implants, uh, split tongue, um, so long, and uh, oh, uh, 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 BBL. I used to have snake bites, by the way, that's why I have those two little dermal dots implants, yeah. there. And I have this nostril pierced, so I've definitely got some piercings. You know, my ears are pierced, I used to have my Ooh, that would be pretty cool. Pierced. I've actually pierced it three times. But my cartilage never wants to heal. I don't know what it is. Some people can't get their cartilage pierced. I might be one of them. But there is another like low key piercing. Like it's low key. Um, <laughs> I've been wanting for so long, but I've just been scared because I don't like needles. I have piercings. I know. I get it. I've always been super scared every single time prior to getting All a right. piercing. Let's I've honestly never up. felt like I maybe deserved this new piercing. It's you want a drum like roll? Should I? Poop. Like what? But I have been feeling more. Speaking of a pile of poop, Amberlynn, how, how much poop do you think you could put in a chocolate bar before people start to notice? Like, give me a percentage. For myself, and I have been caring for myself more, and I have Trying been feeling more confident. Count, yeah. And I just, I don't feel like a pile of poop anymore. <laughs> That's a good thing. I feel like maybe you know a new piercing would be fun. Discord you know, I got says the fairy here. Uh, who knows what's next but right now i'm feeling super anxious and super nervous see. like i'm scared but we're gonna go um i didn't schedule an appointment i'm pretty sure this place oh, 15 can be fucking updates some research God. i found you know a place that had like great reviews so <sighs> i'm nervous y'all <laughs> i'm sorry did like, she you know, say did she say what she's getting done Hit on my stomach I don't... and it makes me feel nauseous and i'm kind of like shaking a little bit i know that's so dumb it's literally just a needle i'll be fine i've been through worse guys i'm, I'm a... going through a piercing but i can't tell you about it yet full hysterectomy like 
Calm down, Amber Lynn. You're gonna be fine. Wait. Way to cross. Okay, so we're downtown, and this is the place that I'm choosing. Oh. 23rd Street Body Oh my god, she left the fucking house. What'd you just say, Amber? I said my nose is gonna be sore. New for location days. dropped. New location dropped. The background artist designed a new uh, backdrop. You scaredy cat. <laughs> Yes. Tell, tell them. Tell I'm them. I'm nervous, Mom. They know. I already talked to them about it. Oh, I bet you did. I'm very nervous. <laughs> Are you super close? It feels close. You're fine. Okay. Well, Should yeah, I get I'm a nervous, wider but... angle lens? Right. I already got the um. Let me show them. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, we have some cleaning solution and some gauze type deal type situation. So. Oh, that suspense is killing me. All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> You guys, it's done, and my mom is a hater. She just doesn't oh, get piercings. Oh, it's another. But I'm obsessed. Um, it's the other nostril. Is that what she got? Oh my god, it was just a great time. We did it, and I actually really like it a lot. Um, what do you guys think? It's just the other nostril. That's it. That's it. Two of two. I love it. I haven't had a stud in my nose in forever. Okay. This I watered so much. It was crazy. I was actually just standing in front of this. It's so pretty. I love it. So now we have to, we had to park kind of far because there was no parking. So, and then I think we're going to go get something to eat. I'm not sure what else. So yeah, she's fucking Cameron unhinged. Express. I got chow mein. Her and other nostril. We, uh, crazy. Broccoli with beef because I'm obsessed with the broccoli. So good. All right, so my fortune today is she loves she loves um giving compliments to the broccoli every time she gets takeout. It's just she just really loves broccoli. It's the only reason she gets Share it your is for the broccoli. With your community, well, you guys actually. A God, I wish I wish they could just give me the broccoli. It's so good. It's literally the only reason why I'm getting it. Oh well. Asked me this question, and my answer is that I can. Touch I never my tried. I never wasn't it like Beyond Chicken at Panda Express for a while or something. Never tried. It. Nose with my tongue. I guess that's a talent. Oh, and I also got some diet Coke. So, so I think what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna go. I to guess a talent. This place. A ta talent, I guess, in the direct sense of kind of like natural born ability. It's literally Certainly not right a skill she us, developed. The Delta A. So it's a smoke Ooh. shop. Oh, I like the, the effect that that sign is having on the camera. Right across from us, the Delta A. Delta so it's a smoke a. shop. I think I'm going to get some Delta 8. Um, my hair is so frizzy. It's oh, like we're back on this bullshit? Okay, sure. Mess, but I think I like the look of that so just embrace it with me so i'm gonna go do that and then there's a store my mom wants to go to i don't know so we're gonna do that and then i need new foundation because i officially used my last bit of foundation what so it's <laughs> this is papa john's today so i have no more at all and there's only one type of foundation that i use and I need okay. it, so I'm also gonna go do that. Okay, so Delta okay. Hall. Oh, you can see your liquid. Oh, yeah. See through. Cool. She's so funny. So this is my Delta Hall. What the fuck? She shouldn't even be holding this. My mom is sober of everything. Like, she doesn't do anything. <laughs> she doesn't even drink. I think she can have Delta 8 as a treat. So this is the- Don't, don't even, don't you dare. Don't you dare try to loop fucking THC in with the, with the type of shit. Uh, uh, Delta, I've never actually had oh this Oh my before, god. Look at how cute this is. And then for free, he was like, you can have this. I got you. I was like, oh, okay. Amberlynn's like, fuck it. Yeah, you, am, my mom stays away from this gateway drug over here. Delta 8 <laughs> liquid? Like, what do you do with this? You just drink you it? You drink it like a energy shot. Like I don't, I don't think I'll. Ever I, I would, I would definitely uh, check the dosage on that before you go ahead and chug it. Looks like an energy shot to me. That's dangerous. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever put that. It in It said mouth, THC ever. on the thing. That's why. So, I said but I did that. get it for free. But, yeah. but we got that. Now you want to go to a place called City Trends, is what it's yeah. called. So we're gonna go there. She's been wanting to go there, so we're gonna go do that now. 
All right, so I got some goodies. Okay, so I literally just got home, fed the fur babies. Yeah, no, yeah. If, if I was, yeah, you know, you're right. If I was around, if I was around someone that I knew was like, uh, had a fucking lifetime problem with uh, substances, I would not. I would not I would not be bringing the buzz balls around in the first place like and now I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm actually gonna clean my nose ring because I have been out all day long it's actually pretty late at night right now so obviously I'm gonna start with washing my hands I've already done all this like, it's like her mom sounded left. like Beck maybe that's the goal my nose pierced before I used some snake bites like the whole nine let me wash my hands real quick it has been such a good day and while I was in the piercing place I actually was recognized a few times. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. The the, the yeah, the alcohol's definitely worse. So if you guys are watching good. Hello, Hello. Oh, I, she was recognized. And I say the weirdest, weirdest coincidence happened. Where's where's drop the pick? Whoever whoever met up with her. Let's see it. Let's see the selfie. Today, but it's also like a sign, I feel like. So I've been talking to someone on Instagram, like who wants to hang out, and we've been I don't know. It's just been a, bit, a little bit of time. They want to hang out and Purely I felt like good vibes from them. Surely. Like I've had a lot of people reach out to me and say like, let's hang out and stuff. And it's like, I always feel kind of weird about that because I'm just like a weird girly. So like I never respond, but I responded <laughs> to them. And okay. uh, one of the people that I uh, was recognized by today, was like, oh my God, can I get a photo? You wonder how her kidneys are doing. I wonder how her fucking hernia is doing. That's something that I would not be able to gloss over. I wouldn't. Be, I I would not be able to just be like, yeah, I got a hernia. It is what it is. <laughs> what can you do? Like, my friend is obsessed with you, y'all. Short story short, the friend they were talking about is the literal person that I'm talking to on Instagram because they ended up messaging me and they're like, now see, this is sounding like a setup. I don't know any of the details. Oh my god, you met my. Like really good friend and i was it's like a little too coincidental oh now like if that's not a sign that we need to meet like i know you're watching hi if that's not a sign we need to meet at least one time then i don't know what is because literally like when i met them today um at the piercing place like they had such good energy already so it's like the fact that the person on instagram also has the same it like, is, really that good is energy. so weird to be getting this person already involved in your vlogs by talking about them so much i'm just like <laughs> This is great. Sorry, I'm over here like trying to open this. I just think it's crazy because it's like of all piercing places of all times and days and people, it's like yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, a little maybe a little too coincidental. No, when did we run into each other like that? I just think that's so cool. So this is piercing aftercare, and then they gave me some of these. Um, they're just like little sponge thingies to you know clean it with. Right. On directions, it says spray before doing anything. So I'm gonna spray on there. Oh, and I know you have to like twist it. Guys, I have to clean my piercing every day now that I got it done. Uh, this is content. It's good to like. Twist I know you. It, I, like, a lot day. of you guys were asking like how I clean my piercing. So, um, <laughs> it hasn't hurt all day. Like that shocked me. But it's good to twist it so your skin doesn't like grow on it or whatever. Thanks for the, <laughs> That's just for the professional lack of advice. There's no blood. There's no crusties. Like, no pain. This is beautifully done. I am going to get some um, antibacterial soap tomorrow. Um, I forgot to get some today, so I'm going to get that tomorrow. That's very important to also clean. You can also use salt water as well. But when I got this done, I was like 12, 13. Why is she, why is she acting like she's a pro on this? Um, I'm 32 now, so it's been a hot minute. And I like I got a really big bump right next to Ooh. it, which is actually very common for people who get their nose pierced. I'm just... I don't think it is. Is she talking about that like wart that she has on the side of her nose? Like, yeah, it happens. It happens. Yeah, it's just a thing that happens when you get it done. Keep... It is what it is. Keep my fingers crossed, please universe don't give me that crazy bump so let's just hope for the best i don't know knock on some wood i don't i don't think that's i don't think that's supposed to happen right old, uh, wherever we went city trends i think is what it's called okay really quick haul i got some perfume 
Paris Hilton perfume. I just thought it was so cute. It comes with lotion and also shower gel. There's like a little scratch. She is really to smell it and i thought it smelled so good plus i think the perfume bottle is adorable like look she loves a scent especially when a celebrity endorses it that. and that's then all I got she this, needs um airpods pro cover case i've always oh, wanted one and this is like God. blinged out and i said you know what let's give her a go and then last but not least i got some hoop earrings because i'm a hoop girly i mainly got it for the middle that's for the nose piercing, But they were right? only five dollars, so I was like, you know what? This is totally worth it. So that is my haul. That's everything I got. Hey guys, so I did more something earrings. She was running low on earrings. Needed a couple more of them. That I wouldn't have done a month ago. And I just want to share these little things with you because it does show that I am healing. So my ex would order ramen a lot. That's like one of her favorite things that she would have. And so every time I would think about like, okay. oh, I kind of want ramen. Oh, like, it, everything reminds me of her. Oh my God. Will I ever enjoy ramen again? Actual real ramen. I wouldn't do it. There's a lot of things that I stop myself from doing. A lot of things that people probably don't understand, which is fine. Um, but I ordered myself ramen. And wow, I'm what a big step. What a big step for you. So glad you found the strength to order ramen again. Guys, it is probably the best ramen I've ever had in my life. Um, I put it in a bowl from my home, obviously. And I warmed it up just a smidge a little bit because I like it hot. I want to <laughs> almost burn my tongue. And then I also got some fried pickles. So good. Did I think of my ex while eating this? Yes. But have I cried? No. That Would I good. have that cried a month ago? Yes. Um, I would have been bawling in my soup so i am making progress i know a lot of people healing by it. smoking delta drinking buzz balls and ordering takeout yeah so i understand and i just feel like it's kind of dumb that i have to even like say that or reiterate that but we're all different folks and little things remind me of big memories and memories that used to make me oh we're cry. talking about the ramen right she's she found the strength to order ramen again what was green? What was green on your face? No, no, see, see, don't, bo don't bother asking her. Because she didn't do anything wrong. Uh, anything Twinkie does wrong is your fault. Everyone's wondering. Obviously. What was it? So everyone's asking, anything your pets do wrong is, is my your dog fault? turning green? You all, it is so dumb. Remember the pesto I had earlier in the day? I am so... Are you, are you about to say Twinkie ate a bunch of garlic and onion? Good about cleaning up my mess because I don't like a dirty apartment. That's not how I am. You guys know that. You guys watch my videos. I just don't like a dirty apartment. But when I ate that, I was kind of in a rush and I actually left my bowl on the coffee table. And while I was gone, no. Twinkie did Bullshit. get into it. And she's fine though. She didn't get sick. Um, That's such foul. bullshit. <laughs> Look at this fucking picture. Um, I think Twinkie would just stick her tongue out and lick the fucking bowl. And she got pesto on herself. She would just go like that and wipe it off. Like. All movements are normal and everything like that. But thank you guys so much for like reaching out and being like, oh my God, is she okay? Because I was literally so confused. And then I found the trash. And I said, oh. Yeah, no, it definitely was not basil stains. My fault. Dumbass. My mistake. I am only human. I'm not a robot. I try my very best to take care of my babies. You know, I'd still hold a human accountable for not letting your uh, dog get into fucking trash and leftovers. Uh, believe it or not, that is not exclusive to robots, that standard. <laughs> this is weird, I know, but. You guys know they're my literal heart and soul. But anyways, I'm going to go. I hope that you guys. Yeah, they're, they're your literal, literal heart and soul. But how, how, how good care are you taking of your heart and soul if you want to really get real with it? Guys, I love my animals more than I, I love myself. I care for them more than I care for myself. Yeah, but that's not really a, a <laughs> difficult standard to read. <laughs> Enjoy this vlog, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. <sighs>
Oh, boy. <laughs> it's a rough one today. Uh, okay, one more. <laughs> my legs are getting bigger. I feel ugly because of my disease. And run errands with me. Uh, what's her disease? Guys. The, the fear of holes... Trypophobia, is that what it's called? Uh, is that real? <laughs> or are people just extra? Oh, okay. Oh, all right. All right. I see a few are diagnosed already. Okay, okay, all right, sorry, sorry to offend. Hey, guys. Okay, hey, whatever you say. Vlog. So I just want to start <laughs> off by saying thank you guys so much for, like, the sweet messages about my nose piercing. doesn't make you uncomfy? No. I got the other side of my nose pierced. If you guys didn't watch that vlog, so now I have two nostrils pierced, which is exactly what I wanted. It looks exactly how I expected it. I love it so much. You guys have been so sweet about it. So thank you. Thank you. Thank well, you. Thank talking you. about the like, I spaced the out. Because like I was super nervous about it for some reason. But anyways, while we're here, I would like to talk because I have mm. gotten some messages because in my Where's last my vlog, package? you guys saw me go to a smoke shop where I got Delta 8 and you guys were like, oh my God, your mom's sober. Like, what are you doing? My mom has never been a smoker type of girly. So it doesn't trigger her or anything. And we actually yeah, but what about those buzz balls? medical is legalized. So she's around it a lot, just like naturally. And it's not a trigger for her. I would never do okay. anything that would trigger her or put her in harm's way because like her sobriety is super important to me. And it's important within herself as well. Like that is like her main priority in life. Oh, I and I would never do mail. anything to like sabotage that or put her in like a weird position. And then so it made... You guys ask like, is your mom the one buying you buzz balls? No, I do all that myself. I've never drank in front of my mom. I never ever would. Oh, okay, I all that right. Really pop. So I just had to like clarify those Perhaps things. Perhaps I spoke too soon. I don't know. They're soon. making me feel kind of weird and icky. Anyways, I'm actually about to go out um to do a prove few me wrong. Prove and me filming. wrong. I could see myself, and I forgot. She's to giving me this. barbarian vibes lately. What? Do you mean by that? You're not talking about that 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 horror movie, right? Right? A member of a community or tribe not belonging to one of the great civilizations, Greek, Roman, Christian. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, I mean, she's definitely not belonging to any of those tr any any of those um, civilizations. What weapon type would she use as a barbarian? Uh, club. Six. So, thanks for reminding me, you guys. So, first stop is my mom had to go inside of her bank. So, I asked them a question about something. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to stay in the car. Sketchy. So, I actually... Who, who physically goes to a bank? So, what? I stayed in the car and I edited the beginning of this video. Buzzball flail. So, yay me. <laughs> Okay, so next stop, we're currently at the Walmart. I have to get a few things, so let's do that. So we just got back to my apartment to put away my groceries, and I was going pee, and my mom goes, I need some of this green eyeliner. And I was like, which one? Eric Wilson. She said Eric Wilson. <laughs> Eric Cook. Epic wear. <laughs> you're, not one, you're not one to talk, all right? All right, you don't get to make fun of people for getting the name of the makeup wrong. And I'm like, the same color that was on Twinkie. Oh my fucking god, you're right. What is she talking about? I don't know who that is. And I was like, are you sure it isn't Nick? Can you make a custom party member for this when you play Polish Gate Three, please and thanks? Oh, oh, the the Goral Barbarian. And she was like, no. So I came out here. It's all over her eyes now. <laughs> it looks good though, don't it? Yes, it looks great. Ambo the Barbarian. It says epic wear. She thought it said Eric Wilson. I need glasses. <laughs> it's Nick. Oh, man, I wonder how Eric and Ricky are doing. So. Oh my God, it's bomb. Yeah, I don't wear it that often. I'm older, and so I look 
you know, anything that makes me look good, like, she's like, yeah. You look great, Mom. Yeah, that's definitely, so, that's definitely what was on Twinkie. Oh, so we are at... I don't know if it was an accident anymore. Chemtrails. That's... Got drunk, uses to turn Twinkie into the Joker. Old Paris <laughs> flea market. And my mom parked where she likes to park. About a mile away. So my Old Paris flea market. Uh, do they... Do they do they uh, do regular revolutions and? Um, Mom likes to get these sheets from here. Beheadings. <laughs> so she's deciding between these three colors because she already has what colors do you have. At home? They sell guillotines at this joint or what? Like the light green. That one. The gray. The gray. The dark purple. Harp. Turquoise. Have they Turquoise. driven out so the Nazis from this these? place yet, or what's yeah, the? Yeah, I'm sure I just get all three because I'm here. I would just get all three at this point. Yeah. The brand is Unido's collection. Brown. Oh, do you like brown? You want to get brown? But it's open. What is this sheet? Yeah, I was paying I get attention. That if it's open. Is there another? There's, there's like a, Ooh, a lighter like one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I love that one. I'm getting that one. Okay. This color? I realize that there's two uh, names for it Sally Collection and then Unido's. All right, I'm. That means, I'm but she likes both. I'm checking oh, out. That one. Now she's looking at tie dye because <sighs> Becky would have loved these. Tie dye is her her jam. She's the tie dye queen, and she saw this. I think ALR is paying for everything. Uh, I'm gonna say yeah. Not that I've got like any any specific reason to think that, but like if you. If you told me to like place my best guess, sure. She thought I'd like it. How's it going? Hello. Yeah, Sadly, I forgot. Becky would have loved those. Forgot my sunglasses when we stopped to uh, put my groceries in my apartment. So the sun is just like chilling in my face. So that's fun. I'm waving at my mom uh, because our next errand is she is paying her phone bill. So she is in there doing that right now. What is this? What is with your fucking mom and these physical transactions? My God. No. And oh my God. Editing. Get her a phone. What? Again, like this is perfect for me. That's why I love editing for my phone because she's got to go pay her Moments phone like this, bill. I can just like get caught up and edit. Um, Okay, so next stop is we're about to go to this store called Kato or Kato. I don't Gato? Know, but I've been here a few know. times. My mom never has. So let's go into it. Is, uh, is Oklahoma a territory that was previously uh, owned by Mexico? Or is it is it too far north? It probably is. Probably most of this was. I have realized right? recently I am such a sunglass girly. Oh, you know who loves sunglasses? Becky. Erin? Like, Rain? not so much Aaron? the pink ones, but almost all of these... I was literally upset. I guess her mom's like, fuck credit. Well, I mean, based on what we've heard about her parents, I would not be surprised if she just takes everything one day at a time, you know? Best with, I don't know what it is, but I didn't buy a single pair. So I feel like that's going to haunt me for literally the rest of the night. Now, what does that say about you? That you <laughs> you didn't buy the, any any of these sunglasses... And is it going to ruin your fucking day? Probably the rest of the week. So I want to know, which one should I go back and get? Give me your vote. Oh, God. You guys, look at the sky. It looks better in person. Trying on all these sunglasses in COVID that, times. But it's like red. Yeah, that's that means... Um, that that means it's the apocalypse. It's just so pretty. Can you zoom just, in? That means yeah. Jesus has returned. So I don't know. Wow. Better head home. Check on the pets. I don't. Know. Hello, hello. So I just got home. It has been such a long day and a long night, but it's honestly been super fun, super great day. So we went and saw Christmas. You saw. Lights, so that was actually really fun. That's the first who's Saul Christmas, Christmas lights? type of thing that I've done with my mom since I was let's see just those a Christmas girl. lights. And me and my mom both really enjoy like Christmas lights and things like that. Wow, leave it to Amberlynn to present this in the 
<laughs> least digestible form possible. <laughs> You couldn't have put some nice royalty-free holiday music over this? <laughs> Looks like shit. Terrible job filming. Annoying noises. Foggy. Glare. <laughs> This is so bad. <laughs> Holy. Wow, that was did you decorate? Uh, Jamie did a wonderful job decorating. I'll definitely drop some pictures if I remember. I still have my Lego bag right there because I like the bag so much. And it was the oh, I didn't post the tree yet, did I? Store, let alone bought something from the actual. No, I'll drop it in the um, holiday section of the Discord. Physical Lego store. I was like, I don't know what to do with the bag. Imagine waking up in the middle of the night and these sounds. Yeah, they let these alt, let the Amberlynn vlogs autoplay. I'm sure. <laughs> I, uh, if you didn't, if if you if you caught my last upload, I um included the fucking Inuyasha credit music as part of a bit at some point in it. And when I was going back <laughs> to edit the video, I was like, "Oh, I should probably turn this down." Is usually what I'll do if there's like some kind of like song or whatever like you know turn it down so that it's not just like horribly offensive to the uh, viewer but i was like no given the context of of the inuyasha credits song i think i should just leave it loud because if this was to wake someone up it would just be all the more relevant 80 percent of you were like throw it away but i don't want to yet so hello so it's pretty late at night george lopez leaves a yes yes it actually just came back inside from Walking Twinkie, do, 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 I am do, 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 like half ass trying to get ready do, do, do. to go to bed. My hair's up, earrings are out, but I still have my jacket on. I don't know, maybe I'm happening. Half right now, but I do have something like massively. You should get some aviators to go with this jacket on my mind, and I kind of just want to like speak about it. So, Imagine, <laughs> I recently, revolver. Something I've been talking about, like how I am feeling more confident and. I am like loving myself more and I have more self-love. But there was a moment today, um, actually when I was in Cato, Cato, I don't really know what it's called, but um, I the was store. walking towards the mirror and mirror? I just like noticed my legs are drastically getting bigger. If you guys don't know, because I know not everyone watches every single one of my videos, I do suffer with mm. lymphedema, mm. but I also have lipedema. And I just noticed today that, Lipid. like, they are getting bigger. It's very obvious. I almost want to share the clip so you guys can see what I'm talking about. But it's like, <laughs> I feel embarrassed. I feel ashamed. It makes me feel like... Get a load of this. Unworthy of love. And it's <clears throat> a really bad headspace to be in. But... I, I know that, like, on the self-love journey, I'm going to have moments like this. Okay. I'm going to have moments where I do feel kind of shitty about myself because I I don't like my body. I hate my body more Tell than anything. Tell it to a therapist. Especially my because God. I have this illness. I have this disease. And it's like I have to continuously <laughs> remind myself. How could this have happened? Who did this? That I am more than this. I am more than my body. I am so much more my body and it just makes me really emotional because like it's kind of hard to be in that headspace because for majority of my life i have been my body i have always been fat amber That's what's with what, what is with the cop cosplay what is going on with this That's when i was in school and i have always been oh look at her butt shelf you could set coffee cup on there it's like okay who Laugh said off. that? I'm trying so Which hard. Which one of you said to that? Find my style. Get and a find life. Who I am as a Destiny almost 33 refill? year old Destiny single Gino? woman. Like I am enjoying the process, but then I have moments like this where I'm like, <laughs> Oh my god, I will go. I have done so much damage to my body that is not repairable. Oh boy. And I know that, like, no matter what, I would still have lipedema. Lipedema is also very common for people who are skinny. Um, 
it's not because of my weight but i know that it wouldn't I'll get be you, I'll get you, I'll as get bad you as what up, it is Dustin. if it wasn't for the fact that i've she should get a continuously a always been <laughs> morbidly obese literally my whole life so even though this like video which i'm probably going to show it let's be real has completely like ruined my night right now uh can can you hold that thought for a second, um, folks, viewers? Where did I put this shit? Um, can I? They got like the 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 glue on the back. Can I attach these with like a hair straightener or something? Is that the? Is that a doable thing, or do, do I need like an iron? This is this is denim, by the way. This part. Can I let's pop these on? They sew mine on. Oh, hell! <laughs> That's the that would be the right thing to do, right? You're the ones you meant to iron. Yeah, yeah, I know. That's. I could go to my mom's, break out the sewing machine, but. Fabric glue is my recommendation. Really? Even if it's got the glue on the back? I do have some fabric glue. You know what? I'll probably do that. I feel like this part's going to rip off, though, or something. I feel like the, the part that's already glue is going to like rip off if I do that. Uh, no, maybe not if I really get it, the glue in there. That would be good. Yeah, I got... Got this, this Zelda one, this Death Stranding one. There's a cassette tape one, and I gotta, I got I gotta get like some bands. I gotta get like a nice Iron Maiden patch and shit. That'd I'm not cool. gonna let it ruin tomorrow. I'm not gonna let it ruin the next day. I'm not gonna let it ruin the current journey and path that I am on. It's just right now, I feel shitty. Right now, I feel ugly because of my disease and I don't like feeling that way at all. It's hard to see beauty in something that holy is shit so this made monologue. Fun of oh my god. You know we're supposed god. to love ourselves, cherish ourselves and god respect damn, ourselves. What is this a poetry slam? <laughs> and I'm find so ourselves beautiful inside. What disease take your pick? You and name it? For my whole life, I never loved myself. It's viewer's like, choice. now that I finally am, I would literally do anything in this world <laughs> to go back in time diagnosis? and tell my younger self, ba -da -da. love yourself now, take care of yourself now, let your health be your number one priority, whether that's physical Me? health, mental health, Me? just treat your body good. I know the world isn't treating you good. Me? I know that you are sad. Is she and talking I know that to herself? Comfort, but find a better outlet. I want to tell my younger self that more than anything. I would do. I would love to. to I would time. love to move and away from this outlet. Let me tell like, you. The only thing I can do is like fix my present for my future. Seeing my legs has uh, right. put me in a really weird headspace. It's like every day I see my legs. I know they're big, but it's like something about this specific clip just really got Let's to me see it. because you know when you see yourself every single day sometimes you don't notice oh wow look at my weight loss i'm looking good or oh wow yeah, i think everyone's experienced like you don't notice things like that this from until time you look to time. at like an older photo or a video or whatever it may be right, you're just right. like oh wait a minute wow right. i look so different that's kind of the progress what I'm of going time, with my legs right now. And I'm just afraid. I'm just afraid. I'm, I'm, I'm scared. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just, it makes me feel embarrassed. And all day today, I all right. was, it was heavily on my mind. Now I just feel like I'm rambling. I just feel like I really want oh, to now? get this oh, now? off of my chest and off of my heart. And the journey of self-love... And the journey of me trying to be a more confident person, you know, it's not going to be just this beautiful, this still steady going. incline. It's going to be, it's going to be very much like this. I know Roller it is. Coaster. I already feel it. And a part of just like my new life, 
I, I really want to start being more vulnerable with you guys. I feel like that's very, very important to me. Fucking Normally, me? this is something I wouldn't with share. Me? I wouldn't vocalize out loud. But I don't know, like something was telling me to do it and to document this Rent moment. Rent due, am I right? That you can feel right? confident and you can love yourself and be on that journey, but still find things about you that you really, truly dislike. Me? It's not me saying that I don't love me? myself. But in this moment, I just have a lot of like regret, a lot of what ifs. And it just makes me want to like right. improve more. I ultimately accept and this is everything I through I'm actually seeing my Honestly, there is no point in including the clip. That will silencing women. <laughs> yep, that's me. That's my middle name. Oh, her cameo. Has she been getting cameos? Is this active? 24-hour delivery. Oh, my God. Very, very timely. 19 seconds. Oh, this has got to be the introduction, right? I was going to say... Yeah. Let me do a shout out for y'all. Okay. I love you guys so much. God, I was like, you better not be doing a 19 second fucking shout out. Hello, Lucy. How much does this shit cost? You can message her for five bucks. Probably have to log in for them to tell you, right? So you're catching me with no makeup on? It's fine. I'm all oh. natural. Oh, I didn't realize this was about for you. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> First of all, I heard that you're graduating from the University of Tennessee. Scam. So we have a smarty on my hands. Okay. Okay. I love that for you. <laughs> Not necessarily. Congratulations. Not necessarily. Like, that is absolutely amazing. <laughs> um, maybe I could like show up to your graduation, just do a little pop in. <laughs> Amberlynn Reed here. <laughs> Can you imagine? That'd be crazy. Are you? Are you going to show I'm gonna say, I was going to say, I was going to say this in the beginning. I forgot. Lucy is one of my most favorite names. Always been. Always will be. I don't know what it is, but I just love the name Lucy. So, love that It's not like she picked it out. <laughs> um, I just want to finish this off with saying thank you so much for the support and for watching my YouTube videos. Like, I would not be on YouTube if it wasn't for the support. Because the hate is loud. No the hate is dark. But then there's people like you who are like the light and who make me happy. And I just love you so Lucy's much. Lucy's the Thank new you. wife. And girl, go to a graduation party. Have fun. Like, girl, I'm so excited for you. Like, your whole life is about to start. Bye. Love you. Your whole life is about to start? Oh, my God. Big, big college has got her. Got her by the throat. Actually, so jealous you went to college, graduating. I actually, I'm surprised she didn't mention her going to college. I probably would. That would be funny. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah, nothing funny. No funny comments. Just people, just people being like, "Damn, for real." I. Eat.